Hello everyone, welcome to Test NG tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about Report NG plugin for Test NG. So, which is the reporting plugin available for Test NG? So, the default report that we get out from Test NG is not very, you know, good looking and doesn't uh, have a lot of details that we are looking for. So, there are the the Report NG is sort of uh, built. Uh, in order to cater for you know better looking report for test ng and that plugin you can utilize in your framework so you don't have to customize the you know built-in report or the test ng report as per your need so we'll learn how you can install and configure a report ng but prior to that uh, Prior to that, I want to uh, also explain about adding the links to your report. So for example, once your test case failed and uh, you captured the screenshot, you would be interested in adding that screenshot link into your report, right? So as we have added the statements into the, into the report using the reporter.log statement, you can also add links. And to add the links, it's same, you have to add reporter.log and simply provide the reference of the link or the location of the screenshot. So if I open this particular, uh, you know, test output report index.html, you can see that this is what the default report is. And if you show, uh, see the results here or the reporter output, it's, it doesn't contain, uh, you know, too much information or it's, it, it's not very good looking report. So report ng will be much better looking as compared to this particular report. All right. So what we'll do is say, for example, now in this particular uh, test case, say, for example, registration test four failed and you want to include a, you know, a screenshot link for the failed test cases, how you can do that. You can simply, uh, you know, go to the um, listeners and you can on test failure, you can add reporter.log statement and add the location for the link right so i'll hard code that link for as of now but in in the actual you know scenario you will be adding that link dynamically based on the name of the link that gets generated and you will be appending that name in this particular you know uh, step here so it will get the screenshot and then you know after getting the screenshots for example you want to add that so i'll simply say reporter dot log and then simply provide you know i'll copy the link here and i'll provide the anchor just give me a sec i'll remove this okay so what I'm doing here is, uh, so as we know, HTML for the links starts with the anchor tag. So I've started with the anchor tag and then the reference or the location for the screenshot. And this is the escape character for this particular, you know, quotes. And similarly, when, once the quote is getting closed, there is another escape character, right? So this is the anchor tag, anchor and then this is the text that will be visible so test results and then closing this anchor tags anchor tag so this is very you know you, you can go to google and search for the anchor tag and the format you can simply get it and this is the location where the screenshot or the folder is right so if you see um you know if i go to this particular you know a screenshot folder and properties i can simply copy this this is where the screenshots are and from this particular you know screenshot if i go to system explorer and here uh, say i want to include a particular screenshot okay so i'll simply copy this particular screenshot and append that here so that particular screenshot is visible so two slash and then the screenshot name right so i'm hard hard coding this as of now just to show you um the results that will be visible and then once the execution happens and if the test fails then this you know uh, link will will be visible as of now there are no failing test cases so i'll simply you know copy this line and put it in the you know here as well so for or let me just fail a test case so let me save it 
and I'll go to reports test and I'll say for example test one I'll simply say uh, assert dot assert true and pass false in it okay now this test will fail because I am making this test to fail okay and import this assertion here and that's it so now if I run this report or if I run these uh, this test suite again then I should be able to get that particular link so there is some failure let me see what the exact error is so okay so screenshot utility is a uh, getting failed because the reason for that is um, if I am if any of the test cases failing basically if we go here uh, in the listeners then it goes to capture the screenshot right and if we go to this util here then this utility get screenshot needs the reference of the driver and because these are all dummy test cases reports test they don't have the reference for the driver and that's why it's failing so what I'll do is I'll simply maybe just I'll launch the driver here and for this particular test I'll say extends base test because this base test has the reference of the you know launching browser and closing the browser so I'll import it and here I'll simply say uh, driver dot get and just pass on the URL so https and I'll open salesforce.com okay so this will be fine and in the listeners as well uh, this extends test util so that's fine so now it should be fine because this particular you know test case um, extends the base test and uh, because this test is failing so screenshot will be captured and the test will pass so let me run it again and this time it will open um, salesforce.com and then just close it and for rest of the test cases it will execute as is because all other test all other test cases are the dummy test cases okay now you can see there is no failure right because the screenshot has been captured it was the uh, you know mentioned in the listeners file okay now let's refresh this report and I'll open index.xml uh, HTML sorry and I've got the report here let's go to reporter dot output or reporter output you can see that test results link is available here right that's what we did so if we click on it it will open the screenshot that has been referenced okay now it is also possible to you know like um, customize or you know display this screenshot as a thumbnail so a lot of possibilities are there with this test ng report that you can do right but there are many better reports so uh, report ng is another you know good report so we would rather use report ng and do all the configurations there rather than sticking to the test ng report now in order to configure report ng let me go to maven repository and if i just type report ng okay there are only two steps that you need to do so let me open this slide so you just have to add the report ng dependency or the jar file if you are you know not using maven so if you are using maven just get the dependency from maven repository add it into your project and then add a report ng listener to test suite that you are going to execute to that particular file now, uh, now let's see how you can do it so in the maven repository if you go to maven repository.com search for report ng you will see that there is a old report ng plugin that is available but that's you know really old somebody has you know um, created a new report ng plugin and maintaining it so it's not used much but uh, this looks a lot better uh, you know report so you can simply go to this report ng and take the latest version that is being uh, you know published here and if you scroll down here uh, Socrates uh, is is the person who is you know maintaining 
uh, this particular plugin so really thankful that uh, you know people are uh, working on the the reporting side or any other plugin and sharing it with the other broader community so just copy that and then simply in the pom.xml we'll go and just add that particular dependency okay now as soon as you will save it that's the only step that you will be required it will start building and it will get all the required you know jars or dependencies in your project and then the next step is basically to configure the listener okay so to configure this particular listener to listen for the report okay and to do that what you need to do is you simply need to configure just go to the test ng.xml and here um, there is one listener already so you'll simply just copy it and change the class name let me open the browser and go to this location here so report ng.uncommons.org so the new plugin this is the documentation for the old plugin and the new plugin also supports you know the uh, it supports the same um, listener details because it's built on top of the same you know report ng and then all the system properties as well so are being supported so you just have to add this particular listener in your file here so you just copy that and add that particular HTML reporter listener and save it okay now let me refresh this and here if you see then there is no HTML folder right so we'll simply you know notice that let me re-execute this now and now the report ng report should get created successfully okay so these are the only two steps that are required in order to configure report ng for your test ng so it will launch browser let it close let it finish all the test cases and then we'll review the report okay so execution has finished right let me refresh the test output and here you can see now a new folder HTML folder got created okay so if you expand that and open index.html now this is the report ng report the new report that we have configured okay and this is a lot better as compared to the previous report that we have seen the default report of the test ng now if you go to the results you will you can see the suite results how many passed skipped failed etc right then uh, the test results if you go to the detail it will capture all the you know uh, details here along with the exception um, which method got executed what is the you know output for that etc uh, if you click on just show only failures it will just show the failures show all so this is a lot better in terms of you know what all has been happened uh, in your you know actual execution if you go to the package results it will give you the details of the package and below the package what classes have been you know executed which how many passed how many fail etc then uh, in the in group if you have any you know group tags if there are any issues if you click on you know see here then the issue that has been reported why the uh, test case failed uh, in the features or in the graphs you will see the test results in the graphical format so for example at this particular time one failed one passed and then you when you do next execution it will show the result in the graphical format class results suite results right so this is a lot better report as compared to the default test ng report now one thing we have noticed that if you see the results here let me go to the suite results and go to the actual results you can see that these you know links are not being displayed here okay the link that we have added in test ng um, the test results link and uh, should display the link to the screenshot that is not being displayed in this particular add-on right so how you can configure this so if we go to the documentation and just 
here in the documentation if you see the there is a supported system properties that you can specify so there is a system property org dot uncommons report ng um, escape output right so this is the property that you need to set in order to escape these you know characters so because we are you know including the html tags uh, usually this escape output is set to true and that is why it ex escapes these characters okay so we have to set that to false uh, so that these the html code that we have embedded should be uh, should not be escaped okay so how you can do it you can simply in your listener class so you can simply go to your listener class and just add the system dot set property and let me copy that so just here so next thing is you just have to say system dot just give me a sec here let me minimize the font size so it's visible okay so you just have to add this line here system dot set property and org uncommons report ng escape output and then false okay so I'll simply add this and here okay all right so after this your these characters here right so the HTML characters won't be escaped and you should be able to see the links so let me re-execute this particular suite again and see the output So execution is successful now let me refresh the output and go to index.html again and here uh, let me go to results sweet results and now you can see this test results link has been displayed right if you click on it it will display the screenshot that has been captured all right so this screenshot at the moment it is you know um, i have hard coded it but in actual scenarios you will basically you know um, update it to have uh, you know accept the dynamic value in there as per the failure the screenshot will be captured for that particular screen and will be embedded in your report right so this is all about the report ng plugin and what all you can do in terms of configuration if you want to learn more detail um, you know you simply go to the documentation here and these are the supported system properties so for example you know if you want to change the name right so title of the report right so you can simply use this property org.uncommons.reportng.title and here in the listener what i'll simply do is um, on test start i will simply add this property right so i'll say system dot set property and provide the key as the property and title say for example i want to change the title to something else so i'll say, say academy um, test report all right now this is rcv academy test report is the title that will be displayed for the report that will be executed now there are other properties as well that you can you know read and understand and try to implement if they are helpful for you in your project right so you can go through this documentation and uh, you know particularly if we go to this so usually this is the location where you should go because we have added this particular URL but because you know uh, github is down at the moment I can't show you that particular page but in terms of you know accepting the you know uh, the property and the listener these are all same for the new uh, plugin that I have downloaded and the old version that is you know visible or displayed at this particular link okay so we have changed the name of the report if i run the test again and see the report the title of the report 
would have changed as well. So execution is finished now. Let me refresh the output and open index.html maximize it and then you can see the title rcv academy test report has been printed here right so you can just play around with the, with the different configurations that are available read around the documentation the whole point of this series is to enable you to basically know the basics and what all is possible in selenium and test ng and then where you can go ahead and read and build more advanced and architect level skills in selenium and a test ng automation so that's all for this particular report ng tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching